So this is the sign of Jonah. We're going to analyze this verse and we're going to see what the sign of Jonah really is. And interestingly enough, Jesus actually tells us directly and clearly what the sign of Jonah is. And it's not what people think it is. So here I'm reading from Matthew 12, 33 through 39. Here's what it says. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree bad and its fruit bad. For a tree is known by its fruit. Brood of vipers. Jesus is talking to the Pharisees here. How can you, being evil, speak of good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. A good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, brings forth good things. And an evil man, out of the evil treasure, brings forth evil things. But I say to you, that for every idle word men may speak, they will give an account of it in the day of judgment. For by your words you will be justified, and by you will be condemned. I just read that for the sake of context because it's important because Jesus is basically saying, if you're evil, you will produce evil things. And if you're good, you will produce good things. So how do the scribes and Pharisees reply? Here's what they say. Verse 38, it says, then some of the scribes and Pharisees answered saying, teacher, we want to see a sign from you. You see, they're challenging him. They're saying, basically, they're, they're, countering what Jesus just said and say, hey, if you're so good, let's see what you can produce. But he answered Jesus and said to them, here's the verse that everybody's sharing about the sign of Jonah. An evil and adulterous generation seeks after a sign and no sign will be given to it except for the sign of Jonah. For Here's the description of the sign of Jonah. Here's what Jesus himself says the sign of Jonah is. When people say, well, the sign of Jonah is the eclipse going through seven cities of Nineveh. That's not what it is. Here is what Jesus himself says the sign of Jonah is. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, so will the son of man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Jesus' death and resurrection, that's the sign of Jonah. Being dead for three days, being resurrected three days later. Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days and came back on the third day. Jesus will do the same thing. That is the sign that this generation will be given. And they were. Verse 41 says, The men of Nineveh, will rise up in the judgment with this generation and condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonah and indeed a greater Jonah is here. So one thing to note, Jesus is talking about then. Again, Jesus is talking about a very specific time and a specific thing that happens. We cannot add our own meaning into scripture. We can't change what this means. Sometimes Jesus is cryptic and sometimes it's hard to kind of understand what Jesus means by things. This is not one of those times. He tells us what the sign of Jonah is. He says, you won't receive a sign except for the sign of Jonah. What's the sign of Jonah? Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days and he came back on the third day. Hey, and that's what's going to happen to the son of man. Then he says, Nineveh, because they repented, they will come up and judge you guys on the day of judgment. Because they repented when Jonah preached to them. But you guys aren't going to repent. Jesus is foreseeing this, and he was correct. These these Pharisees did not repent. Uh, Jesus is saying, I am the better Jonah. And so Nineveh itself is going to rise up in judgment against you because you didn't repent, and the greater Jonah is here. So that's what the sign of Jonah is.